There's one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Welcome back to another adventure. Super stoked today with my friend uh, Cameron. He's behind me here fishing a whopper plopper. And uh, we're covering six miles in the Ozarks, hunting down some smallmouth today. Uh, we got here, I think it's about 8.30, but it don't matter for smallmouth. They'll bite it any time of the day if you throw it in the right little pocket. So uh, I'm actually not going to throw the whopper plopper. I got the uh, Guggen Squad revolver on. This is comparable to the 90 size whopper plopper. It's their smaller revolver, and that's the Bluegill Magic. I used that on the last adventure on the buffalo and had that one fish, but the water was just really, really cold and it was super high and, you know, raging that day. And then, of course, I got the jade jig on. Just a little craw pattern. And, you know, I got Old Faithful on the spinner bait. So uh, I'm gonna try to keep it behind me today and just throw with these two baits and uh, see if we can catch some mondos. This is a very high pressured area. Um, it's a very popular float for the locals here or anybody traveling. But what's great about it, you can float it almost year round and that's why we're here today. Uh, we haven't had rain in about a week and a half. So we're pretty limited of what sections we can do. So that brought us to here and uh, we're gonna fish it hard, fish it slow. We're covering six miles a day. We got plenty of time to uh, drag some of these deep holes, look for those big bites and uh, explore some new stuff too. So I've been on the section a couple times, but the way I fish, I don't get to finish it by the end of the day because I'm too focused on one spot. And by the time I get to the other spots, it's getting dark. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to have fun. Uh, Cameron and I hopefully will get into a mess of smallies today. And stick with me. Stay tuned. I'll meet you downstream. There's one, there's one. Came out of that tree over there. First Molly on the revolver, I uh, cast it underneath this big tree and he came out and popped it in the current. It's pretty sweet. I saw him, it was awesome. Little guy, maybe 11, getting close to 12 inches. Revolver doing the deed. Just a perfect spot, shade, cover, shoals and rocky and i got a wrap tip here i don't know what's happening here anyways first slime of the day smells awesome i didn't stop in a good spot i was just trying not to drag through that i was about to go through it it was shallow I think I see a couple of smallmouth right here. Yep. Oh, he spit it out. I got two right here. I don't know if those are suckers, but. Got him. That's a nice one. There's another one with it. There's another one with it. Toss right in there. See? I thought those were small. He swam right there by the rock. Come here, babe. He looks like a 13. I don't know if he's a 14. Caught him on the jig. It's my biggest of the day. Stay on. 
stay on. Jade's jig right there, baby. <laughs> Good one. Let's go ahead and slap him on scale real quick. He is uh, just barely touching 14. Got him on top of the mouth right there. Uh, camera and I just floated up on this uh, deep hole right here. It goes from maybe a foot and a half to three, four. And they're sitting in these shady little pockets on these big boulders down in the water. And let him go. Healthy little fish. Nothing too exciting, but 14 is a pretty good one. Oh, not bad. 10 inches. 11, 12. Dang. He come from the grass line. Oh, dude. That's a nice one. Get him in the boat, bro. Golly. There's that stud I was looking for. Dude. Uh-oh. Rod's on the left side in the water. It's down in the water. <laughs> nice one, man. About 14. 13 and a half. <laughs> Beautiful. What'd you catch him on? Oh, that little crawl. Nice. Tail crawl. Heck, damn it. I missed it. I was trying to aim for the stupid sand. I hit the rock instead. When you drop this in sand, you don't hear nothing. That was nice. Didn't matter if this one. <laughs> Little guy. He didn't care about the noise. He just wanted to eat. Little guy. Someone had a bad day there. Look at that crack. <laughs> God, now it's a good old catfish hole. I tell you what. Bondo would fix that or not. Good. Good one. Nice, man. Put up a good fight. There he comes. There he comes. There you go. There you go. give up on the revolver but I still wanted to keep it and I just shot it like my line snapped and it just shot way up into a tree and I was waiting for it to fall in the water now it's way up there I figured this would be a great opportunity to try the uh, Heldon torpedo going back to the classics I'm gonna have to adjust the, it's this baits a lot lighter than that revolver but I think it's gonna get smoked <laughs> Uh, I believe this is the bait, not the specific bait, but this style bait, the torpedo, is the first bait I've ever thrown that caught a smallmouth on the Buffalo River of all places. So, definitely holds a place in my heart because that's when I started falling in love with the old torpedo and smallmouth. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Just got one on the torpedo. Not a huge guy, but this is like number four on the blow ups, but they're just not getting pinned. I might have to get the old uh, pliers on on this guy, but anyways, <laughs> he smoked it. Threw it right by the uh, current and rocks. Oh, Lordy. There we go, little guy. That's fun. There's one. 
He's on the other side of that tree. Oh, it's a sunfish. How does that make sense right there? This silly fish. He's the type that will hook you real good. So floppy. Pretty guy. We'll let him go. He got him. He's out here in the middle chasing those shad. I'm gonna save this tree line for you. I'm gonna let you have trolling motor now. There's one. I didn't fish any of that, I skipped it. Oh, he popped off. I, was, I didn't want you to pass that section. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on. Stay on. Oh. Stay on. Oh, he's got a big one with it. There we go, boat flip, long and skinny. He had another one with, nice one. I just got one off. I was telling Cameron, I skipped that section for him. I was like, don't miss it. And all of a sudden I got blown up on, I got him close to the boat and then whoop, bam, he fell off. Cast back in there and this guy smoked it. <laughs> Probably about 14. Skinny guy, not very big, but still fun to buy. He had another one, same size with him. There's one, there's one. Little guy. Caught him on the jig. Got a little guy on the Jade's jig. Got a, oh, he just popped up. There's one. He's in the grass. Caught him on the jig. in the shade grass line right here and throwing tight to the cover and this guy wanted a piece yeah. there's one oh that's a good one that's a good one oh yeah stay on please stay on Oh, he's gonna get in the grass. He's on the other side, dang it. There we go. <laughs> Chunk. It's not as long as yours a while ago. Jade's jig right at the roof of the mouth. Right here in these rocks where the uh, current's moving through them. <laughs> he smoked that jig. He had another eight inch one with him, but boy, here I thought he was gonna get off that, but there he goes. Beautiful chubby fish. Oh, he's feisty, probably 14, 15. Not as big as I thought, but he felt good in that current. We'll send him. There's one. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. 
I remember the last time during this run right here, caught a few fish. So it's a nice little shady area with current and big old rocks. Should get them stirred up here with the chopper. See if we can ride this bank over here and toss upstream facing backwards. Let's see what we can do. First cast. Just got to make sure I don't go in the zone. Kind of hug this grass line over here. Where you at? Where you at, small? Oh, yeah. That's, that's fabulous. That's just great. There's one. Not a liar. Knew there'd be one in here. He's a feisty fella, and y'all miss it on the rear camera. He's not a bad one on the old chapo. Oh, just, just got fish slime in the mouth. I guess that's fair. I hooked him in the mouth, and he sprayed me in the mouth. My right, shoulders about to fall off. We got this. Here we go. Flash my sunburn legs. Woo. What a day uh, we had we had quite a few people in front of us recreational people and uh, fly fishermen but uh, we still ended up getting on a good helping of fish uh, I think we each got at least 10 in the boat had several more on but uh, you know just didn't get them in uh, Cameron lost that nice one uh, I can't remember what he it was definitely over two pounds but uh, you know that's how it goes unfortunately but anyways it was a great trip uh, you know the water levels are low everywhere you go unless you go middle of buffalo or something like that so we did drag a little bit today but you know it's just easier to find those small mouth and easier to find those holes and where they're going to be staging in so we had a great time covered 6.7 miles and uh the wind was perfect today it blew a little bit which it was nice because it was so hot not a cloud in the sky and we just needed that breeze to cool us off a little bit but it was a good time the base that we used today was a spinner bait I actually didn't throw my spinner bait today I know surprise I uh, stuck with that jig and uh, I threw the chopper I threw the torpedo I threw the revolver until I lost it oh just slingshot ten dollars into a tree I can't get back oh. anyways that's in the past now but we had a great time those were the baits we threw today and uh i think he caught that big fish on a crawl pattern texas rig just uh i think it was a uh, rage tail possibly i can't remember the brand he uses but anyways it's mainly uh jigs or texas rigs i was getting the bigger girls in our boats today we had some 14s on he missed that possibly 17 18 i'm not sure and uh, a lot of them were dinks today but it is what it is it, the section we did is very very popular it gets hammered a lot and you know this time of year it gets extra work because it's the only part you can really float but um anyways we still had a great time it's always awesome catching small mouths so thanks for sticking with me this long and i hope to see you on the next adventure